Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, free site, bettingangle.us, free site. Today is Wednesday, December the 5th, 2018. Let's talk about an emerging heavyweight, Joe Joyce, and his desire to fight Luis Ortiz. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let me say, um, Joe Joyce beat a fighter I thought was going to beat him this weekend. I did expect 16 to 1 underdog Joe Hanks to beat Joyce. I just thought Joyce was too slow, right? Too slow. Let's talk about him some more. Understand I lost that fight. Maybe you can consider this video to be a sour grapes video, right? Um, he got the KO on Hanks in the first round. For those who like to look at fight film, in my favorites folder right here online is the Joe Hanks, Joe Joyce fight, as well as if you go back a few videos, the Joe Joyce fight as an amateur against Alexander Usyk, right? I want you to look at both fights. Now let's talk about Joyce, right? He is the 2014 gold medalist from the Commonwealth Games. A couple years later, he picked up the silver medal in the Olympics. Right? He's been involved with some big names in boxing. David Hay used to back him. I see that he um, has been training with Abel Sanchez, Golovkin's trainer. Right? He's associated with Al Heyman. Big time presence in boxing. But let's focus on his style. It's not all about connections and hype. It's not all about amateur medals. Let's talk about his style and him. Understand, this is not a young, early 20-something fighter. In fact, he's not in his 20s. Joyce is 33 years old. This is not a guy who is just starting out, who's going to learn a lot of new tricks by the time he gets to 27. Now, this guy's already 33. He's a very heavy puncher. Very heavy puncher. But he's not sudden. And that's very important at the elite levels of the sport. In other words, you know, Deontay Wilder hits awfully hard with that right hand. And the key is, you know, Wilder can just drop a shoulder and get that big punch off. So even against movers, Wilder can, at times, catch up with you. Right? He has what I call ring coverage. He can hit you from far away. Now, I haven't seen the suddenness on Joyce. I'm a skeptic. I haven't seen the suddenness. He hits hard, but my goodness, is he slow. Right? As you look at the Hanks video, what I want you to do is to focus on Joyce's hand speed. In my opinion, it's a major weakness. Now, I've seen guys who haven't been blessed with great hand speed succeed big time in the sport of boxing. At heavyweight, George Foreman right, wasn't the fastest hand speed guy. But Foreman was savvy, and Foreman had one of the best jabs I've ever seen, right? I want you to look at Foreman's jab, right? Foreman had one of the best jabs I'd ever seen, and Foreman was savvy. In other words, Foreman had an Archie Moore-type defense, which he actually used to push you out into his punching range. In other words, he had a construct where he was pushing guys out into his punching range. And then he was very accurate. 
Now, I don't see the construct with Joe Joyce, right? He just strikes me as a guy who fights a bit too upright for my taste, who hits hard, but who doesn't have a foreman level jab, right? Who throws punches in a way where you see the punches coming. You know what he's trying to do to do, right? I'm still surprised that Hanks lost the fight and he lost it by KO in the first round. Let me also say too that when you're fighting a guy like this, a guy who's a little bit slow, right? I'm talking about hand speed. A guy who doesn't move particularly well. You could either fight him like Alexander Usyk fought him, outside using lateral movement. But there's another way you can fight him. It's a way that's going to be wide open to Luis Ortiz. Right? You could smother him. In other words, you know that this guy's not going to take a quick step back and have a surprise for you. You know, he's leaning on his front foot. He's loading up on shots. And you know when he throws them, they're not tight shots. He's not a short puncher. Right? And you know you're going to be able to see most of the shots. So it seems to me that someone should be able to smother him. You don't have to always fight going back against a big guy. You could literally come inside and smother the guy, especially if you're the shorter puncher. In other words, come inside, figure out, okay, he needs space to throw that right hand. Right? He throws a left hook. It's the left hook that finishes Joe Hanks. Let me come inside high guard because the guy's six six. He likes to punch down. You know he's going to try to hit you high on the head. So you want to come in with a high guard and you want to take away his short punch. Right? His left hand. Take away his left hook inside as you come inside. When you see a guy who stands too upright like this, you have a lot of midsection to hit, don't you? Also, you know if you're too close to him, he can't get that right hand where he wants it to be. Right? I believe angles matter a great deal with this fighter. Because Luis Ortiz is a southpaw who knows how to play angles. Because Ortiz can get inside and smother a guy. Also, because Ortiz is adept at feints, Understand, when you lack hand speed and another guy faints and you start to throw some five-minute punch, right? You go, but you just don't have the hand speed to snap the punch. So, you know, you're loading up on every shot. You're throwing your shot. You're wide open for a counter. Understand, the other guy has fainted. He hasn't thrown a punch. So you're trying to counter him, but you're slow-handed. So it takes a long time for your shot to get there. I believe Luis Ortiz, who has faster hand speed than Joyce, and Ortiz is much older, right? I believe Luis Ortiz is just going to be too fast for this guy. He's going to have too many opportunities to counter this guy. Understand, too, because Ortiz knows how to, as lefties do, come way over on one side of you and still be effective because he's in a different stance. I believe Ortiz will be able to take away Joyce's jab, right? So I congratulate Joyce on a great amateur career. I congratulate Joyce for having fought high-caliber amateurs, right? At the Commonwealth Games, at the Olympic Games, at the um, World Series of Boxing, fighting Usyk. Great, he's been in the ring with some big names, no question about it. But none of that has given him a lot of hand speed. 
And because he's too big and too upright and too flat-footed, I believe he's a sitting duck for a slick fighter from the outside, right? An Ali type, a Larry Donald type, or for a guy who can get inside underneath him. Isn't this how Mike Tyson made his career in the 1980s? Right? A lot of guys were big then too. But a shorter guy who could get inside, who had faster hands than an opponent, right? Who could duck under the other guy's power shots, right? Who was too low for a guy who likes to hit you up top to find him, right? A Mike Tyson type guy would have big time success in my opinion, against Joe Joyce. When Luis Ortiz, who's tall himself but not as tall as Joyce, fights Joyce, I'm expecting him to get low. You're going to notice against Joe Hanks, Joyce several times tries to throw down on him, right? You know, comes across, has Hanks here, tries to load up and lean his body in and throw, you know, punches chopping down. Right? I'm expecting Ortiz to fight low. Right? If you fight low and you have a high guard, Joyce, who is unbeaten, in my opinion, is vulnerable. I congratulate him on beating Joe Hanks. Again, that video is in my favorites folder here online. But I think he's vulnerable. I think we're in a six foot, five inch, and taller era where the guys are flat-footed and they're all trying to hit home runs. They're all trying to knock you out, right? So you get a guy like this who's competitive in this era, right? Because all of these big guys are just trying to load up on shots. Just understand this is only one fight style. Right? I think a guy with movement operating behind a jab with feints, right, who can get Joe Joyce extended and then come in with power shots, I think a guy like that could take out Joe Joyce. Let's remember, Jimmy Young in the 70s, smaller heavyweight, beats George Foreman. Right? I think Luis Ortiz beats him. I think Ortiz is just too slick for him, right? Um, we'll see if that fight gets made. I understand Joyce talked about fighting Ortiz. Ortiz has responded by saying, hey, I'll fight you, <laughs> right? Now, we know in boxing, there are other people involved, right? Promoters, managers, media outlets, right? We'll see if those guys can bridge the gap. Understand, though, even though Joyce has had less than 10 fights, you're talking about a guy with an extensive amateur career who's 33, right? He's older than Anthony Joshua. He wants in on the party at heavyweight. This guy's older than Tyson Fury. He senses the opportunity. Let me also state the obvious, right? If you're a Fury person, you understand Joyce would have no shot on Tyson Fury, right? Joyce might be competitive against Joshua and Wilder. He would have no shot against Tyson Fury because Fury is just too fast for him, right? A slow-footed guy like this, slow-footed and slow-punching against a tall guy who isn't at a disadvantage in terms of reach, who can jab you from the outside and move around the ring, who, when he wants, can go southpaw and pretend he's Luis Ortiz, would destroy Joe Joyce, right? But that doesn't mean Joyce isn't viable against Joshua or Wilder, right? Those fights would be shootouts, right? Wilder has him beat on hand speed. I'll agree with that. But Wilder isn't a boxer. Right? So Wilder, I'm not sure, would know how to use his hand speed to beat Joyce. Right? Food for thought. Uh, Anthony Joshua, I think, is vulnerable. 
because he's not blessed with great hand speed. Right? And it might come down to who lands first. Let's remember, and I keep pointing this out, Joshua was on the canvas against Vladimir Klitschko. Right? When Joshua got off the canvas, let's just say Klitschko had a clear window of opportunity to take back his title and wasted it. Right? Joyce in my opinion, hits as hard as Vladimir Klitschko. This is an A-plus puncher, right? My problem is in the delivery, right? Too upright, too slow, in my opinion. Derek Chisora wanted to fight Joe Joyce. I think Chisora understood that if he got inside Odd Joyce, Joyce would not be able to hit him. Anyway, that's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I know Joyce has a lot of fans out there. I understand when you're the Commonwealth gold medalist, when you're the silver medalist in the Olympics, right? He's the guy who succeeded Anthony Joshua in representing the United Kingdom in the super heavyweight category at the Olympics. And he got the silver medal, right? I understand this guy again, well connected, right? David Hay, Abel Sanchez, Al Heyman. Okay, fine. I'm a skeptic. I think he's a bit slow. I think he's vulnerable to counters. I think he's a bit too upright. You look at the films. You tell me your opinion in the comment section to this video. I'm taking Luis Ortiz over him, right? I'll agree. I'll agree. Joyce hits so hard. That in any fight where you're taking his opponent, you need to hedge the play with Joyce by KO. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.